It's never been about the money. It's always been about the love of the game and the energy I gained from it. It's not about the stuff. I mean, I, I thought for, at one time it was about Hoover had the most money and the most stuff and the BMW and the Porsche and, you know, the house on the East Coast and the house on the West Coast. I thought whoever had that was the winner. I got to tell you, when I had the most stuff, I was not the most happiest as I am now. Sometimes when you have too much, you need, you need to do less. You need to have less. And by having less stuff, I find things are much more clear. But it's not about the stuff. Stuff comes and goes, money comes and goes, the way you affect other people. The way you affect other people, like kids or people, lasts forever. If I say one thing today that affects you, that affects your kids, that affects somebody else, your friends, and that you can change lives. You know, Tom Platts is the prime example for keeping a simplistic mindset. And as you can see, he was in the 90s, a famous bodybuilder. And what happened to him is, you know, he started acquiring a ton of fame, a ton of money, getting the cars he wanted, getting the women, getting everything what he needed. But he recognized where he came from. He understand his roots and he simplified what was his main interest? What was his values? What was his virtues? He recognized that, you know, the women, the money, the cars, all that kind of stuff. It's great. Nice to have. But he understood his roots, where he came from and the love for his life. He recognized that bodybuilding. He recognized that working out, sculpting his body was what gave him meaning and transforming his body through applicable mindset. And then allowing that to be sharing that with other people. What he learned in the gym transformed his mind and, and, and in return transformed his physique as well. But what he learned is that he could push his mind beyond measures. He learned that everything within his physique was just a mental barrier for him. And what it came down to is he learned like, you know, all this shit really doesn't matter. These, these women, these cars, these money that I got, what really matters is that I've acquired something so deep through this training that is giving me so deep meaning that I want to share this with people that I want to give towards others. And I think that's what it really stems down to is that there's some point when we are in our life working towards our pinnacle and whatever it is, you know, that could be, you know, the best car mechanic, the best sculptor, the best, you know, in any part of your life, you want to be successful. There's going to come a point where you're going to start acquiring money. You're going to start acquiring attention from people. But you can't let that get to your mind. you got to recognize that be the best you can be, but keep it simple. And once you start becoming to that pinnacle point of whatever you're at, it comes down to returning it back. It starts coming down to helping others and leading and, and, and helping people grow to become a better version because that's what really matters. You know, if I were to give you $50, you'd be like, cool. Thanks, but that's all you'd recognize me as. You just see me as an outlet, a little ATM machine. But if I transformed your mind, if I transformed the way you live, the way you compose yourself, and gave you some form of confidence, that would last you a lifetime. And so when you are in a position in your life where you're trying to move in some direction, recognize that simplicity is the greatest investment that you can put into whatever lifestyle career you want so guys have that tom platz mentality keep it simple don't get too complicated with all until next time peace